Hey everyone, this is kind of a special molting video today. This is Ursula, my confirmed female G. rosea slash Berteri. She's the first tarantula I've ever owned. Uh, kind of got me started in the hobby and into collecting tarantulas. Anyway, I came into my tea room today and she uh, is flipped over on her back getting ready to molt. Uh, she, as I say later in the video, she hasn't molted for over two and a half years. Uh, so it's been a while, so I'm pretty excited to see what she looks like. Anyway, there's a couple pictures at the end um, for you to check out. Alright, sit back and enjoy. All right, here's Ursula, about six hours later, seven hours later. She's done molting. She's been done for a while. I checked on her when I saw her flipped over. It was about 1.30 my time, and I woke up about 8.30, and she was done. So let's see if we can pull this molt. She looks awfully cool. Let's see if we can get a good close-up here. Nice. Man, it's been over two years since she molted. It's pretty cool. All right, let's pull this out of here. Can I have this? She almost has a like a purple color to her. Well, you're all right. You're okay. Let's come out of here. Oops, sorry about that. All right, let's check out this molt. She's so cool. Right on. All right, so here is Ursula. Uh, here's her molt. Came out pretty good. All things considered. You can definitely see there's a flap there. We'll look at it through the microscope here in a second. But all pretty good. Let's give her a good measurement here. These two uh, the front leg. Let's see here. Sorry. So. Too high on a quick cling on this thing here. Let's move her. Try this again. So something like that. Sorry about that. It's hard to I can get my filming better. Anyway, so about four. Her legs bent. So she's probably five, a good five before she molted. So I bet she's five and a half now, I bet. She's gotten big. I can't wait to see her when she's all spread out. Anyway, let's take a look at this molt. So, for those of you who don't know, when you sex a molt, you want to look right. Sorry. Right in between the book lungs. So, right here. Hang on a second. All right. Sorry, guys. So, right there. A little flap. So let's take a better look. So as you can see, there's a flap there. And if I zoom back out and get the microscope here, hang on a sec, or the microscope, excuse me, the, the, uh, it'll take me a second. And there you go. Nice little flap in the middle. So, as far as I can tell, fourth uh, girl in the collection here in the last couple of weeks. The molt, my HMAC molted back in late April. Confirmed female. My B. Alba Pelosum just molted. Confirmed female. Um, I just posted a video about my P. Wernada, which I think is now a female. Ursula is a female. Um, Kasari, my P. Metallica molted, but I'm not sure about that one yet. We'll have to wait. Anyway, the crazy thing about Ursula is for people who talk about Amostola's not being very good beginner pets, 
In this respect, I agree that they're not very good beginner pets. Ursula's super chill. We hold her quite a bit. I let all sorts of people, different people hold her and she's awesome. She's super mellow, but she's been on, she went on an eating fast for over a year, ate two crickets and then stopped eating again until this recent molt. But here's the last time she molted. November 1st of 2014. And then in April, or I mean in February, started eating again. Anyway, last time she molted was November 1st. So let me turn the page here. Oop. There we go. Now you look up here. 7717. G Rosea, G Portery. So. A little over two and a half years since she molted. So they don't molt much, they don't eat much. But uh, this one's pretty cool, pretty mellow. I like her a lot. All right, talk to you guys later.